Hi, my name is David Siegel, and this is my creative stay in the Pikes Peak region. I'm a musician and an advocate and an arts administrator. I play in several uh, performing ensembles around town, and I'm also lucky enough to be the executive director here at the Ent Center for the Arts. So Green Mountain Falls is a wonderful enclave about 15 minutes west of Colorado Springs. Um, it's what I think of when I think quintessential mountain town. It hasn't been taken over um, in the same way that some of the skiing communities have been taken over. This is a vacation respite, but not much has changed in the last 40, 50 years. Um, so it, it's really a wonderful place to get away, to see the fall colors, um, and to connect with nature and connect more recently with some wonderful contemporary art. The Outlook Lodge is this wonderfully um, elegant, rustic uh, inn in Green Mountain Falls. When I'm in Green Mountain Falls, I like to escape from the outer world. And uh, the Outlook Lodge is a concierge-based uh, hotel. So there's not uh, staff on site most of the time. You really feel like it's yours and your, your respite to escape the, the noisy outside world. The Little Beaver Inn, um, really elegant property, again, nestled in the woods of Green Mountain Falls. Hot tub, gorgeous rooms. It's just a great place to escape. Um, and like the Outlook Lodge, um, it's, it's your quiet retreat, your quiet escape. Green Box is uh, both a summer festival, but also a, a year-round home for contemporary art. Most recently, Green Box um, opened a, a James Terrell sky space. James Terrell takes installation art to, to the full extent. So when you visit the sky space in Green Mountain Falls, you'll hike through the woods um, to arrive at the sky space itself. And that journey is as much a part of the art. The sky space is also just a, a remarkably elegant space. It uses beetle kill pine from Colorado. It, it uses stone and rock from quarries here in Colorado. The first time I experienced the sky space was meditative. I didn't really know what to expect. I had seen videos of other sky spaces, but being in the sky space and traveling through nature to arrive was just an in incredible emotional experience and a gift to our entire community to have the sky space available. Il Vicino has a, a wood-fired pizza oven, so you can't go wrong with the pizza. My personal favorite dish is the lunch special. Salad, pizza, a drink, right across the street from the Ent Center. Um, their pizza dough is, is perfectly crisp while still being chewy, um, so you can't go wrong with, with any of their pizzas or their salads. The best dish at Cowboy Star is happy hour. Anything happy hour, uh, great martinis, great old fashions, uh, great cauliflower, and great charcuterie. It's just right under the underpass from the Ent Center, so I love walking, uh, walking over before a show to have a drink and relax um, before seeing some great theater here at the Ent Center. If you drive up the Pikes Peak Highway or take the Cog Railroad to the top, you'll find a brand new Summit House. Um, this was a project um, from the Colorado Springs Parks, Recreation and Cultural Services Department. And you can grab a donut, take in the views, and enjoy, enjoy a warm cup of coffee, um, sheltered from the elements on the top of Pikes Peak. From the Summit House, you can walk, walk out and explore, um, take a short hike down Pikes Peak to experience what it's like for runners as they finish the Pikes Peak Marathon or the Pikes Peak Ascent. Um, it's, it's a wonderful place to experience the beauty of Colorado. Front Range Barbecue is a musician's hang. It is the spot to be on Wednesday night and Sunday night for live music. And it's the stage that got my band started. Uh, Grass It Up, my bluegrass band, played at Front Range Barbecue almost every Wednesday for years, and Front Range Barbecue has grown into one of the most important 
hubs for live music in Colorado Springs. It's a place where musicians come together to collaborate. So you never know who you're gonna see at Front Range, whether it's a stellar local act or uh, somebody that will be at Red Rocks in a few years. Great place to see live music, eat some barbecue, drink a local Colorado beer, and have a good time.